Adam Christ from MyMMANews.com being joined by the OG BKFC heavyweight king himself, Arnold Adams. He's getting ready to take on Michael Terrell at BKFC 19. It's going down July 23rd in Tampa, Florida. My man Arnold Adam is the co-main event, number one contender spot for the heavyweight strap from a man he's already defeated. But we'll get into that first and foremost. Arnold Adams, how are you, brother? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Uh, before we get into anything, happy belated. How's it going? Thank how'd you. you sp- how'd Thank you spend you. your birthday, and how do you plan to celebrate your birthday after you get that win? How I spent my birthday, quite possibly the worst birthday ever. My original flight to Vegas was canceled. Then I bought a flight later in the day that ended up being an hour delayed. Then I finally get to Vegas. I got to wait two and a half hours to get my bags. When we landed, we sat on the tarmac for an hour. And we finally got off the plane. We had to wait another hour and a half to get our bags. Come to find out, our bags were on another flight. And the flight was an hour and a half behind us. So birth, my actual birthday was shitty. Then the following day, came into uh, High Rollers headquarters. Um, got some good work in, but then the rest of the day was shitty. I didn't do what I wanted to do. I missed two events I was supposed to attend to, you know trying to meet with some people, potential sponsors, and get my name out there. That didn't work out. I don't know. This trip, this trip has been a shitty trip. Aside from the training, it's been a shitty trip. Well, I will say you are in good company right now at HR HQ with Lonnie yeah, and, and, and Mighty Matt. Those guys are some good people right there. But uh, mm-hmm. so after after this fight, I do want to ask, how do you plan on celebrating the birthday? I saw your post. You didn't want to talk too much about the fight, and I get that. We have some to talk about, but how are you going to celebrate? Uh, I haven't decided yet, honestly. I mean, I got a couple of things set up for after the fight, but I think I might just do a, a party the week after the fight, or maybe two weeks after the fight, uh, uh, it'll be a, a birthday slash fight party, if you will. Victory, bir- birthday slash victory party, if you will. Sounds yeah. good, man. So the road back to the strat, man. You, uh, you, you got the recovery going down. You got that win over Bobo at BKFC 16. Obviously, mm-hmm. you're, you've overcome a lot to get back to where you are, and the first man mm-hmm. up will be Mick Terrell. So he's 4-0, mm-hmm. he's undefeated, and you're going to be welcoming him in the BKFC. So I, I know with the age technology of the internet, we can watch anybody compete. But so from your perspective, from Arnold Adams' perspective, what do you know about Mick, Mick Terrell? Uh, he's got good movement. Um, our, it's almost like a mirror image of ourselves. Like we're, we got the same style. We, got a, we have a lot of the same similarities to a certain degree. I've noticed there are some things that I do better. Um, um, I have, but I'm not going to go into detail about what I noticed. I'm going to keep that to myself and my team, but you know, you break down footage and you look for any and, and every little thing that you can capitalize on it. And that's what I've been doing. Um, before I came out here to Vegas, the person I was working with, Caleb Hernandez, who was a professional boxer from Indiana, Northwest Indiana. Um, we've been working on the openings and capitalizing and, and, being prepared for what he likes to do. And we know he, while he is a good boxer, his, his defensive game is not up to par. I couldn't figure out how to say it, but his defense is not up to par. And we got some things in the work. That's all I can really say. <laughs> Understandable. We'll leave it at that. But uh, the differences between over here and the UK, you know, with BKFC, you can punch in the, you know, the plum. And the, the little differences like that, do you plan to – exploit or do, is it one of those things it's the minimal things that you're not so concerned about yeah i say it's the minimal things i'm not so concerned about um you know europe and the bkfc they are very different like they recently just picked up the no uncovering the knuckles for the longest they basically had boxing wraps on their hands and they would fight you know since this started over here our knuckles have been exposed so we're a little bit more accustomed to taking the damage and the pain versus them over there now true enough you know it's not glove boxing over there but that that gauze is still a pad and it, it still uh softens softens the blow if you will um that cli- that tie clinch is different that half plum and you know you can work on the inside over there they want you to tie up they stop it and separate it also another thing that we have they don't we don't have a standing eight count i mean a standing 18 count or 20 count or however long that count is you got eight seconds if you don't recover in that eight seconds or that 10 seconds the fight is over with you get Damn near half a minute to recover over there. That's 
that's a little absurd. You know, uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. It, it, you're right. That uh, that long count is a little wild. It gives a little too much time. Um, mm-hmm. And not only that, but it gives too much time for the other person to also rest. But right. going forward, man, uh, I have so much to talk about. But you, you, I know you have a fight ahead, as we've discussed. This is title contention, and I'm not going to look past it. But I've seen interviews where you've said very, very clearly, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on Joey Beltron. So. <laughs> what's the road what's the road been like back to the strat man um it's been long that's for sure i mean even i've only had one fight so far but it's, it's been a long wait for that one fight inside but, and out of the ring right yeah inside yeah uh but i mean i'm 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 here for it you know my my window is closing but while i have the opportunity to seize it i'm going to seize and do everything i can to my ability um, Joey Beltran has been doing his thing. I told him to hold on to those belts until I come back around and I can't lie. He's been doing it. Um, but he knows as well as me and the rest of the world, what's going to happen the day we step in that ring. Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Got to focus on Mick Terrell. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, Joey Beltran, I'll be seeing you soon though. I love it. So you've been, like I said in the, in the preview here, the OG BKFC heavyweight king. You were there from jump. So you've gotten to see how this sport has evolved over here in the States specifically. So from one to now, it's gone from straight up killers, the, the tryouts, and now you have some of the, the YouTubers, the TikTokers. I, I just, everybody has their take. I want to ask what yours is. Uh, I approve. I mean, I, I get what he's doing. He's trying to build a company. He's trying to get some exposure. And if the fighters, while the fighters may be putting on great shows, it's not reaching out to the fan base that that felt meant that the promotion is looking for. Um, the fighters, on average, you know, three to five thousand fans or followers on their social media. Now, some of the bigger names have 50, 100, 200, 300,000, which those are the headliners. I get it. The TikTokers, now they're bringing in millions of followers. So even if the guys that are fighting are trash, below zero level fighting ability, it's going to bring eyes, it's going to bring attention, it's going to bring more money, it's going to bring sponsors. So overall, I understand what it is. I get it. Um, I really didn't want to be on this card, but I am. So now you see how I started promoting it. This is the fight of the night. This is the fight that everybody wants to see. Yeah, there's tits as the headline, and there's <laughs> YouTubers with Dick said that's on this card too. But as far as the fight that everyone's trying to see, I'm pretty sure it's me versus Michael Terrell. You and pro- and then, but I'll cut you off. I think uh, Britton Hart is also, she wants to be seen. Paige just got smoked by Britton. Rachel's new to the promotion, and neither one of those two are strikers. But Britain's been smoking her opponents ever since she fought Christina. Yeah, so, I think, yeah. I think you, I think the co-main event of this evening, or this evening of that evening, like you said, between Britain. you and Michael, and then also with Britain, those two sell the show alone, and will bring yep. not. It'll bring so much more fan base to you. And I get it, and I respect your view as a businessman. You understand the business aspect of it, but can you understand why the fighters might be a little? Oh no, bit no, no, no. Listen, I was bothered by it too. Like I texted my manager, like, "There's no way in hell <laughs> I'm fighting on this fucking card." I'm not going to say exactly in detail what else I said in the message, but long story short, I was like, there's no way you can expect me to fight on this card. And I'm not the main event. I told them, like, I feel like me and Mick are, we should be main event. There's no reason in hell you should have two non-strikers. I don't care how pretty they are or what their bodies are like. You can't have them be the main event. But it is what it is. Now we just coming on to steal the show. And it's funny, when they announced it, I was like, shit, we being brought on to sell the show. Like this is the, this is gonna, if not Britain's fight, our fight is gonna be fight of the night for sure. I don't even know who else done the undercard fights. Uh, yeah, Mike Terrell, Arnold Adams, uh, Britain Hart, and everybody else, whoever else is on the card. I don't even know who else is on the card. <laughs> Well, let's just talk about history for a moment here. I mean, just as far as like boxing is concerned, any other sports concerned with combat sports, it's always coming back to the heavyweight division. Everybody wants to see the big boys bang. Everybody yeah, wants to see somebody get knocked out. So like you said, it's almost it's, like the people's main event. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's funny. I saw that today on Facebook. Someone called it the people's main event, and I like that. That's, that's honestly what it is. It's the people's main event. Like everyone, they talked about Mick Terrell. He's 
for his record, 4-0 officially, 6-0, uh, because I guess they took two fights from him or something. I don't know. But, you know, it's it's the best verse from the U.K. versus the best from the U.S. right now. That's how I'm looking at it. And that's that's pretty much what it is. And you seem like a straight shooter, so I feel like I can get a straight answer out of this. When do you think that you'll take him out? I'd say round two. Round two. If, if it was to happen, it'd be round two. Possibly round three. But, you know, that's really never been in my game plan to try to forecast when I'm going to take a fighter out. Mm-hmm. Because I don't – my game plan is to work off of what they give me. I don't ever want to try to control or – try to look for something that they're going to do that or that they like to do because you get caught looking for something and end up getting caught with something else. Right. I just sit back and wait. Um, yeah. So with that said, you're looking for the second, maybe third round knockout. Now, I don't want to jump again ahead of the gun, but do you have maybe a little thing in your back pocket that you might have for the current champ that you might have to say in your post-fight speech? No, nope, not at all. He knows what it is. He know, and the people know what it is. The people been been asking for this for for a while. I'm just right now. I'm just taking my road to get back to him. But when I get back to him, hey, it's something special. No, shit. And truth be told, yeah, he's the champ, but he's got something against me because I got that one on him. Nobody else has got that one on him but me. So you know, it's it's really like even though he's the champ, he's really chasing me. Right. I, I was waiting for that special call out. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know who the real champ is type thing. Nah, yeah, he, he knows what it is. That's why, that's why he wants his rematch. He's called me out, what, three times straight, four times mm-hmm. straight? Yeah. That's cool. Keep calling me out. That, yeah, I'm going to answer that call. Yeah. Be like careful say, what be they careful wish for, what, right? What you ask for. There it is. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, man. Enjoy your time at HRHQ. Again, I know you're in great company. I look forward to yes, seeing sir. the fight. Everybody yes, download sir. the BKFC app. You want to see the people's main event. You don't want to miss Arnold Adams versus Michael mm-hmm. Terrell. Arnold, I appreciate you taking the time, brother. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see the fight, man. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. There he goes, Arnold Adams, the OG BKFC heavyweight king, taking on Michael Terrell. It's going down July 23rd at BKFC 19. Who wants smoke? It right there behind him. You know know what it is. So for Arnold Adams, I'm Adam Christ. Make sure you keep it locked to MyMMANews.com for all your fight news needs. 